What were the uh, keys to Tanaka being able to navigate through that seventh inning? Um, you know, I think the really his last. I mean, he, he's he's obviously been on a good run, um, but you you really saw him reaching back. Um, you saw velocity. You saw location on the fastball. I think he leaned on the fastball actually a little more than he has really in any other start. I mean, obviously the split and the slider play such a big factor for him as they were again today, but he, he made some really good pitches with the fastball as well. Um, I thought his stuff all day was good. You know, when they scratched that run in the first inning, it was kind of similar to last start where, you know, just, you know, a couple well-placed balls against him led to that run. But but overall, I thought he was really good, and, and, and I thought the fastball was a little bit more of a, a, a factor for him today. He gave up two hard hit balls to start that inning well, it wasn't until a couple of batters later where holder got up were you in your mind thinking hey i like what i see in his stuff this is his inning yeah we we really felt like um we liked what we were seeing you know it was a day where we were going to stay away from robbie and, and Britton, and uh we just felt like he had a lot left in the tank we felt like he was still making pitches and uh we just felt like he was the best guy to get us through that situation so the holder Batansis uh, combination ends up getting you through the eighth and the ninth. But I did want to ask you about, you could make an argument that the eighth inning was the high leverage inning with the three, four, five batters. Because Holder had been up, did he become the choice? Would you ever have thought of Batances for the eighth there? No, and that's and that's why sometimes we keep it open. You know, especially, you know, on most days where you have Dellen, Britton, <laughs> and Robbie available, th th that's where those kind of decisions come into play more. Um, you know, but we we wouldn't, just you know throw holder into a first time save situation in it there but when we have our three high leverage guys with chappy down th there you'll see us mix and match it depending on maybe where we are in the lineup and who we like against those guys and glaber torres is hitting over 400 in his last 15 games he's got 22 homers in his rookie season after having never hit more than 11 as a minor leaguer just what more superlatives can you offer about the way he's played um you know what uh, <laughs> I almost forgot about his homer today because the defense was so good. Um, so, and that's what we, you know, he, he's been special in the field. And I thought he played a really good shortstop today, made a good play there at second <clears throat> in the ninth on, on what looks like kind of a simple play that's not. Um, so he's just, he, he's impacted our club in a profound way on both sides of the ball all year. Eric to the right. Aaron, how did uh, Sanchez look to you? I thought he looked really good. I thought he caught great today. Um, I thought his, you know, just from the side, his pitch framing, some big blocks in the dirt there late in that in that eighth inning with the with the tying run on third. Um, I thought good at bats. Um, you know, hits the ball to the fence, smokes the ball to third. Um, I thought he looked pretty much on time at the plate um, so I thought a really good first day for him even though you know he didn't get any results at the plate mark in the middle right in front um, what was it that you look it's the same thing as last time with Patances and, and his and, and the finger and what did you think and I know it's part of the job but the way he bounced back from the other night um, he's really good and I think he's in a really good place and um, you know when you have that kind of stuff, look, every now and then you're going to run into s something where, where guys run into pitches, and that's that, that's part of it. Um, but uh, I don't think he ever flinched, frankly, and uh, so confident to give him the ball in that situation again. Um, and I thought he was really sharp tonight. You know, gave up the one hit. Uh, Jones put a good swing and smoked that ball back through the middle. But I thought command-wise, the breaking ball and the fastball played in that in that ninth inning. And um, you know, I think because he's in such a comfortable place with his delivery, it allows him to regroup. You know, I think much e much more easy because he's because that leads to confidence, and you know what comes out when it comes out of his hands. Um, as far as the cut, yeah, he just. He just cuts that finger, so it doesn't really affect him other than, you know, he gets blood going, and, and that affects it, but it's not like anything that prevents him from doing anything, so uh, it's just something we, we got to try and manage the best we can. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron.